this lesson you will learn how to understand the traceability of ALM octane between the different entities when you directly compare it with ALMQC. So let's first go into LMQC and see how the traceabilities uh, worked between the entities. So I, I know many customers who are using the defect module or the requirements module as the starting point to navigate through the uh, traceability and find the source or the co uh, cause of um, something. So currently I'm at the cause of something to uh, know what requirements are impacted by this defect possibly. Yeah? So let's see how this defect is uh, created on which entity. So basically QC provided here this column, which if the entity is linked to another entity or not. So currently I can see all of my four defects which are in the current filter are linked to other entities. So let's click on it. And from here I can see basically the test step uh, which was performed and at which step this defect was created. So I can directly jump to that step. And you will see I will be moved now from defect module automatically to the runs module and in the runs module I can see here um, this is the step okay I understand so now from here I can go to the test instance yeah, to, in order to see this was just a run itself I would like to see the uh, representative test instance in execution so I can go now into the test instance and on that test instance, I can see that here I have the test instance and right click on it and say I would like to go to test in test plan. Yeah, so where the test cases are managed. So I'm moving now from uh, defect to test runs to test lab to test plan. And here I can see this is the uh, address, address option uh, test and on the requirements coverage. I'm able to see all the requirements which are covered and I can also click here and really see the requirement itself. Um, I need to release the filter, but now I'm here on the requirement. And basically QC allowed me always to go back and not with the browser back button, but you have here back and forward. So you could always go back to the step where you were coming from. Yeah, so you can go all the steps back into the defect module. And this allowed me to really understand um, the traceabilities between the entities. And QC's methodology, methodology was more uh, on, a, on a folder structure based, yeah? while as ALM Octane is based on different views. Yeah, where you can really do a lot of things just one click away. So this was really uh, a nice thing for end users to understand where I'm coming from and how is a possible impact to a specific area where my uh, defect exists. Yeah? So what are the possible requirements which are impacted by it? Um, and I can directly see it exactly in this manner. And other customers also um, created graphs where, where you displayed, for instance, here in the requirement space, I could create a, let's say, business view graph. And this business view is, let's say, defect by requirements. And here I had different possibilities. I could use a predefined um, business view, which shows me exactly the thing what I wanted to know. Defects with linked requirements. So let's click on it and I can now decide what I want to see. So let's say I have here the um, linked out or let's say detected by. And here we have, this is fine. We will group it by the priority or I would say status. Let's go and group by status. And now I can see I have in total three defects. 
um, by requirements and they are um, detected by the testers and here I can basically see the graph for it. So now let's see how this can be done in ALM Octane. So let's go to Octane and we will start also in the same manner on the defect module. Yeah? So let's go into the defect module and in the defect module I can see I have few defects and I can now click on the ID of the defect or I can also uh, choose the column set so let's say requirements I can choose the requirements column and I can directly see here that the defect is linked to a requirement um, it has been automatically linked um, when it was found during the test execution so this is one option but I would like to show you exactly the same way to do it so you can go now on the defect itself and in Octane every entity has the relation tab yeah, and the relation tab basically shows you how this entity is related to other entities in Octane. So we can see here that this defect it has a direct link to requirement. Yeah, I expect that uh, one of the links uh, to the requirements, I'm, uh, I can see that this defect is linked with four different requirements um, and pretty sure that one of the links was created during the uh, test execution uh, to the manual run. So here I can see it's also linked to a manual execution. So let's click on it. And on here I have again a relation tab. On the relation tab I can see the manual test. And from that manual test I can now see the different requirements which are impacted yeah, by this uh, traceability and Octane is building the whole traceability here. You can see it. So if I go here to browse by categories, you can always see uh, that um, entities are displayed. So the whole traceability for me to better understand the root cause and the impact is built on top of it. I could even go further and now look how the requirements are linked to backlog items or to features, um, and Octane will continue to do this. Uh, you can see the requirement has been added here as well and I can go back anytime so I can click here on the let's say catalog browsing and I see directly where I am in um, so this is the one option which is available and also in the different modules so let's go in the requirements module and on that requirements module I can select a requirement for instance and I can directly see here that on the requirements I have the test cases but also I can see the direct linkage to the defects so there is no need for me to really do the navigation through the traceability it's provided for sure and it's very useful in Octane uh, similar as it was in uh, QC even it's more handy in uh, Octane but Octane does it a bit differently so you can see it directly on the uh, impacted area what the cause is and what the verifications uh, was on that specific area it is linked uh, either you have linked it manually or it has been linked during execution when the defect were executed and found so this is uh, an easy way to uh, discover traceability as well and now let's take a look on the reporting and uh, let's so first of all you have always this overview tab which will exactly show you uh, the different um, defects and so on so you will have here the graphs and so on updated based on the focus and context you are on so it will uh, be displayed here but let's go to the dashboard module to see what um, kind of graph i can create so i, I have here a lot of different graphs which i could use um, which maybe uh, are providing me exactly the focus I'm looking for. But Octane also provides you the capability to add custom graphs. And let's say this is uh, defects by requirement. And now I can uh, select the entity here. So I, my entity is requirement. No, my entity is defect. Sorry. There's defects. And on that uh, entity, I can now say I would like to have the x axis by requirement so there is extra field called requirement where i say all the requirements 
and now I can also decide okay it should be counted and let's say I would like to know here the face of the defect so I have the face let's save it and now you can see here let me maybe do a different size so double height so here I can see now that uh, this graph shows me exactly by requirement what were the defects which were found and what is the status. Yeah, I can see here also the percentage and the number total counts. So it's very easy to create those graphs in ALM Octane to understand the impact uh, on something or the cause of something. Um, so this is really uh, easy and handy to use.